What's up guys, and let's take a quick look at everything coming in Season 9 in Forza Horizon 4. Up first, let's take a look at all the new cars coming in Season 9. As I said in the live stream, it's mini month of May, so every week is a new mini to go and unlock. Up first is the mini Morris Traveller, then we have the 2008 mini John Cooper Works, a personal favourite of mine and I'll be chasing that car until I unlock it. Then we have the brand new Mini Countryman, not really keen on that car but hey hey, and a brand new Mini Convertible. Also to round off the Mini Collection is the not so mini Dakar Rally Mini Buggy. To finish off the cars in Season 9, we will also be able to unlock the crazy but amazing Apollo Isenza or the Apollo IE, a crazy car they said could have the most amount of downforce of any car in Forza Horizon 4 and a definite contender for the Goliath hot lap. We will also be given the chance to go and grab the Maserati MC12 Corsa, a race car for the road. It was built for the homologation rules for the MC12 and is also a pretty cool car to go and grab. I will definitely be grabbing that. We also have an American muscle car in there as well, a Buick GSX with a rev counter on the bonnet. Do with that what you will, but they said it could be a pretty good drag car, so that's what I'm going to be doing with mine. They also looked at Online Adventure, with bringing us custom Online Adventure, where you can pick what series you would like to race, be it road, dirt, cross country, street, then pick your class, B, A, S1 or S2, whether you would like free range rush on or off, and the same goes for collisions if you want those on or off as well. They also warned that if you're picking a specific type, so if you're going for street races in class B with free range rush on and collisions off, that's quite a, a tight niche, so you might only have three other people searching for that, and loading times and matchmaking could be slightly longer or significantly longer than say if you were just searching for an online adventure session and the normal way of doing it. They've also introduced a wall riding penalty which we will have to wait and see if it actually works but I'm sure they have done plenty of testing. To me it looked a little bit strange and I think people will genuinely find a way around it and make it work to their advantage. Either way I think it is a welcome change, it's something we need. People do wall ride and that, that when people bash into other people on purpose, people get extremely frustrated. So they've, they've done something about it, but we'll wait and see, see if it works. We are also getting a new Horizon story called The Car Files. It's based on an insurance company and we have to test cars that customers say have issues. It's similar to other Horizon stories where you drive from point A to point B with the voice actor being the meerkat from Compare the Market or compare the Meerkat, an insurance company from the UK. Sounds pretty cool, it sounds a bit out there and a bit different, so we've yet to see how that is. I'm going to enjoy it, there will be videos on the channel on how to get three stars on every single mission, and it's also integrated into the festival playlist, and they did say that all 30 stars for the Horizon Story aren't required to complete the festival playlist but there is a certain amount and I will find out how many stars you need for the most amount of percentage for the festival playlist. So there we go, everything coming up in season 9 looks pretty good to me. I look forward to all the new cars and new Horizon story. Expect to see all of this drop Thursday, May the 9th. As always, subscribe if you are new. I will be covering season 9 on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.